My name is Kelly. This is Coca from Australia, and you're watching the Omega. Good morning, fam. Hope you're having a great day today. Welcome to my life movie. Just woke up a little bit ago, and to my surprise, I mean, we're freezing cold in here. We're in the SS Raven in the mountains of Tennessee. I parked right outside my friend Patty's cabin, but I just woke up right now. Looked outside and it's freaking snowing. Like this is why it's so cold. But this is so pretty. Check it out. I guess it's kind of hard to see from the window. Let's go outside. Yo, this is cool. What? You know, us Florida people like freak out about stuff like this. <laughs> Yo, this is awesome. I'm gonna close the door because like it's cold in there. But we don't have heat. <laughs> This is cool. I'm gonna wake everybody up. It's like one o'clock, but we got home at like 6 a.m. last night from filming. Hey, wake up. Come outside. You're gonna, guys are gonna freak. Okay. I just woke up. I was just laying there thinking, oh my God, it's 1 30. I know, right? I don't wanna fall. Alright, come on. Hold on. Close your eyes. Close my eyes. Okay. Yeah. Where's, where's Kylie? She's sleeping. She's sleeping? Alright. Are you ready? I'm, I'm ready. Alright, look. Oh my oh god, god. <laughs> Oh my god, look! Yes. Yes. This is cool, right? Awesome! Oh my god! Dang! I haven't seen snow in like three years. I wanted it to snow at Christmas when we came out here. Oh, oh my god. god! I was wondering why I was so cold. We were like oh. freezing last night. <laughs> it was like, oh, okay. Oh Love it. But I this. this makes up for it, right? Ooh, it does. So Don't tell Kylie, guys. Here. I'm oh. gonna go. Go. You can hang in here. I'll make some coffee. Hold on. Okay, everybody. It's snow. This is so cool. Oh, my, just woke up and told Sorry for waking you up. Logan's gonna go play in the snow. Yeah, he's gonna go make snow angels. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, are you barefoot? Oh no, Logan. He's <laughs> Get your shoes on. <laughs> Come on, Sage. Come on. And Sage loves the snow. You want to play in the snow. You want to play in the snow. You just want this ball. You just want this ball. Go get the ball. Go get the ball. Come on. Come on. Oh, yeah? Come on. I miss my dogs. Oh. Luna would love the snow. They're so cool. But you know what? This is kind of bad because... We have a lot of work to do and this sort of puts us in a bind. I do not want to be driving the SS Raven through icy roads and stuff. Cause there's all kinds of twists and turns and there's no guardrails. Like you just go like a little bit over to the right, a few inches and you're going down a cliff like several hundreds of feet. These are the best boots ever. I got these to go into that tunnel that we went into yesterday and it's great. Oh, Sage wants to go for a swim. Yeah, this is really nice. Got a little creek back here. Probably gonna freak out when I do this, but just lean over and let me grab your ear. It's cold, right? Patty was kind enough to let me plug up to her cabin here. And she did invite me inside, but you know, I. I hate to like crash her her cabin. You know, it's really, I mean, it's, it's big enough. Uh, depending on how cold it is today though, I think I, I think I might take her up on her offer. I could actually bring my bed inside there and put it on the floor. Got really nice out, sun came out. None of that snow stuck. Actually got warmer out too. James! Really pretty out here. Well, James can't see very well. Oh, make sure he didn't like fall into the creek or something. I always think the worst. Like this poor James probably went walking in there and fell in and drowned, broke his neck or something. I didn't check my van. Could be in my van. I'm taking a Humpty Dumpty. Where's James at? Yeah, can you? Is he live streaming? Yeah, he was. Marcus, one minute. He's somewhere. He's outside. What the heck did he go? Here, let me put my jacket on real quick. Now walk. He's over there. 
This guy wanders off so much. I mean, he's doing a live stream and all, but Tennessee is treacherous. He probably walked over this stream too. I'm probably gonna have to do that myself. That's how he got to the other side. Can't. You can't? I can. Oh. oh, I don't know. This is kind of deep though. <laughs> what a savage. Why? You gotta do it for the vlog. Do it for the vlog. Alright. Look how close. Oh no, I don't want to get wet. I'm going back up. Yeah. Oh yeah, my yeah, I'm wet. Oh look, there's snow on top of the mountains up there. It actually stuck up there. That's so cool. You fall? No. Hey, I can't even get it. It's too deep. No, no. I think my water. Where did you walk? He probably walked over there. It was more shallow over there. I was trying to find James to unlock my van. <sighs> so I have something in my van that I want to show you. And yeah, it's going to be really awesome. I've always wanted to do this and finally get to do it today. Something could go wrong once I do this. You're probably dying to find out what it is I want to do. And I promise it is epic. Ugh. So since we're surrounded by beautiful mountains with snow at the tops of them, I figured we get a closer look. Hope you enjoyed those awesome shots, courtesy of this little guy right here. There he goes right there. My drone needs a name. Yeah, you wouldn't think so. Doesn't it feel colder right now than it did when it was snowing out? It does. I can't believe how savage he is. He got his shoes wet for you. No, for him. <laughs> but, and he's still outside. You should change those shoes. Put them by the fire. They're the only shoes I have. <laughs> only shoes you have? Well, I mean, like put them by the fire. Or, do they have a dryer in there? You could dry them. Let me go do that real quick. I haven't showered in about, yeah, it's been like four days, but you know, yesterday I took that hot towel shower. I need to, I mean, this is great that Patty invited me here. So I'm gonna probably take like a good hour long shower. That's gonna be great. I can't wait to do that. Hanging out with Marcus. We've been editing all day long. It is 2 o'clock in the morning. James finished up his video like maybe two hours ago. I kind of feel bad he's been waiting for me. We usually like to publish our videos like at the same exact time, but, you know, here. I still got to edit my vlog. Like this video that I've been editing all day is for 
my other channel it take a lot of time to edit because we film for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours hey Jamesy Yo. what do you think of a one hour vlog cool all right you're gonna do it tomorrow we're gonna we're gonna do it while we're out here okay one hour Let's do vlog it. one hour vlog but and then upload it one hour like like in like pause and keep going or like uh, see he's like oh well a one hour like with no cuts Which kind, is kind of, of like a live stream one hour but you guys aren't there live right I thought about doing a no cut vlog I mean that's another thing too you know maybe I could do like a two hour video a no cut but I mean we can show them the cemetery we can show them around here I mean, we can do a lot show you around I mean I showed you around a little bit with my drone but climb the mountains <laughs> No, you could climb the mountains. Hey, I'm actually thinking about sleeping in the van tonight, bro. Why? I think I'm gonna sleep in the van. I, I, I I'm just sleep, like it's laid cold. in the covers for about like ten minutes, and that's pretty warm. Uh, that's, I think I'm gonna do it. You're a freaking liar. He's a liar. No, it's swear, freezing swear, cold outside. It is freezing cold. It was, it was freezing in my van. It is freezing in the van. Yeah. It's, it's not only the bad of the right. blankets. It's a savage thing, like Marcus said. But Hey, what's up, fam? Hope you're having a great day today. Welcome to my life movie. If you're looking at me and saying, hey, man, I see an older Omar, you're absolutely right. Today is my birthday. I turned 36 today. There's one reason only why we have a hotel room tonight. And we parked my RV because I can't get my furnace or water heater to work. Now, a lot of you have been sending me like messages. Hey, do this, do that. I used to have this problem when I lived up north. Something with lighting the pilot. Uh, these have like an automatic pilot. And I had to switch on and yeah, can't get it to work. We're in Chattanooga, Tennessee. People are pretty friendly out here. Not sure if I'm supposed to be in here. Whoa. I haven't been in an inside pool since I lived up north. Yeah, I used to live in upstate New York for about four years. See that building right over there? That is Waffle House. If you've never been to a Waffle House, you're missing out. See? Waffle House. I probably look like such a tourist around here holding my camera and vlogging in front of Waffle House. These people are probably like, what the hell? Look at these guys over here. Hey, happy birthday. Hey, thanks, birthday, homie. Man. Appreciate all the birthday love. Did you guys order already? Uh, hey, our dude's here from last night. Just finished eating our breakfast, and we're thinking about, instead of taking a shower, just jumping in here. Was thousand dollar phone in the pool. <laughs> Wait, it's waterproof, huh? Yeah, it's waterproof. <laughs> <laughs> you clickbaiter. Bro, I was like, why did he just do that? <laughs> Wait, now you gotta go for a swim. <laughs> oh no. I hope you ain't got nothing electronic in. You do? You got your keys in there? Uh, you got the spot in the pool. <laughs> <laughs> There's your bath. Now you gotta walk outside in the freezing cold. Uh, it works. Oh. oh yeah. What is up, fam? Yo, I am sorry that this video is probably all over the place, but I just want to share with you the last couple of days because honestly, I have not been able to pick up my camera and put a video on this channel. I mean, let alone be able to edit. Some of the footage that you've seen on this video was from like two and three days ago. And it's not because I'm being lazy or anything, but yesterday we went to a place, and this is how like my schedule's been, that we spent 12 hours at. 12 hours! And like, we were so tired. So, I don't know. This video might be kind of long. You might kind of enjoy it. I was almost not gonna just upload anything and just wait till I got home. This is where I slept last night. And today, it's a great day because I get to go home and see my family. I miss my family, miss my dogs, miss my wife. I just wanna give everybody kisses. I mean, that's all I wanna do. I miss Malia. 
I miss my son Max, my son Ethan. I mean, I give them hugs and kisses every day. And I haven't been able to for a week. Actually, a week and two days. It's been, yeah, it's been a while. But, uh, yeah, my eyes are probably crusty. I just woke up. It's, it's 11 o'clock. I never sleep this late. And James said that Jay is still sleeping. I mean, he stayed up all night editing i i just i couldn't edit like we got here at i don't know it was like one or two in the morning and that was after waking up really early the day before those of you who think this life is easy think again because until you live it you really don't know it's a fun life though I'm not saying it's not but man being on the road making videos and then editing and I haven't had any good sleep and I need a break like you might think I'm on vacation because I'm traveling this is not a vacation my vacation starts when I go back home and I'm in my bed I had another rough ride yesterday and I went and looked at my tires and I had rocks in them so we gotta check our tires here make sure there's no rocks in them but I got rocks all over these tires yeah you sleep well I, I, I just didn't sleep enough. James is pretty tired, guys. He said he could sleep for a whole nother day. I could, man. I'm so tired. How are your legs? Sore. Yeah, mine are sore too. Hey, look, oh. you got tags under your arm. Well, I do. I forgot to take that off. You're going to take that back to the store? Yeah. With spider webs and mm -hmm. snot on it? I guess so. <laughs> It was so cold in the middle of the night, man. Almost froze in here. It's so nice out now. It's like, I don't know. It has to be like 70 degrees out. It's crazy. Kids are on spring break and they haven't been wanting to do anything. I can't wait to see them. They miss me too. I've never, I don't know. My kids always say they miss me and stuff, but I was getting like random texts from them. And even my daughter Malia and they were like, you know, dad, when are you coming home? I miss you. And there goes Jay over there. That guy is a hard worker. You driving like that with with the Ouija board? Like just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, I got a good video idea for you. Playing the Ouija board while driving. Oh, damn. Yeah. That'd be hardcore, man. So this is his kitty cat. Yeah, that's Wubbles. Oh, What's his name? Wubbles. Wubbles. Yeah. He's really a shy cat. I'm scared of like everything. Hey, last night, Jay got pulled over and he was like a little nervous the cop said so they searched his vehicle yeah told him dude you don't have to let them search your vehicle yeah what what did he say when he seen your cat oh he was <laughs> he was wondering why i had a cat here man <laughs> but yeah he was pretty cool other than searching me wobbles is cute yeah he hit you and wobbles a litter box in there for him yeah <laughs> that's awesome does he go under the seat and stuff oh yeah that's where he hides so, if you can hear this sound, that rattling, having the same problem again from the other day. I thought that maybe it was just rocks in my tires, but it's not. It almost feels worse. Like my whole van is shaking right now. I'm having to go kind of slow. Dude, I did not want to stop and try to get some tires. I just want to go home. You must be pretty tired. I guess it doesn't matter what time it is during rush hour or anytime I hear they got a really awesome aquarium here they got a whale he's sleeping still Go. hey 
You wanna go to the Georgia Aquarium? Huh? Nah, I don't think he wants to go. You ain't feeling good? We're not used to like the dry weather up here because in Florida it's a little humid and he's, he's complaining about his nose. Me too, man. Like my nose is so dry, I can't wait to inhale some humidity down in Florida. I mean, it's, it's kind of bad. Like you get like these crusty boogers and nosebleeds. I don't know. I don't know how you northerners do it. Maybe you're just used to it, but we're not used to dry weather so much. Almost lost control of my RV right now. This is bad. Not far from Atlanta right now. Got cars zooming past me going 80 miles an hour. And my blowout is on this side. Yeah. Tire's bad, huh? It's really old. This is my spare tire. I mean, it's enough to get it down the street. Yeah, it's. I mean, this tire is gonna be better than this tire. Man, what luck, man! Like two blown tires. So this is what was gonna happen on the other one. Glad I brought my jack. this is gonna work guys I mean look how close we are to these cars that's the lane right there we're literally four feet away from the end of uh, the end of the famine uh, oh my gosh TV so I can't find anything low enough it's like the back is sit like sits a little higher yeah like this, this jack isn't doing anything I wish a cop would have yeah Seriously. They're too busy trying to pull people over over there. Yeah, Going exactly. Miles per hour. Exactly. That's the problem. Cops nowadays, instead of protecting and serving, they're freaking harassing and collecting. I'm trying to use my floor jack, but you can see how high. That's pretty high up. Uh, so the reason why the officer stopped here is because somebody reported somebody running from the like from one lane to the other like they were on drugs or something so yeah it definitely was not me so he said hey just call a wrecker but i mean he was a nice guy uh, i would have loved for him to back up a little bit more and uh, keep us from getting hit or something but i don't know he's got more important things to do bro he ain't got shit to do except for write tickets to this is ridiculous he doesn't even have a number for a tow truck. If it was an accident, they'd have a tow truck here in five minutes. Yeah, yeah. That's ridiculous. Yeah, he was like, call a record. We call roadside assistance right now. They're about an hour away. It's gonna cost 50 bucks. Huh? That's not bad, yeah. We just need help jacking up the, the van, really. I just hope my spare is okay. Because the tire shop a few days ago said that it was dry rot. Actually, it wasn't. As bad as we thought. Who, Jay? Yeah, so Jay passed us. We lost him, and he he's already down that way, closer to Florida than we are. I'm really hungry. Here, are you? I'll share. I wasn't offering you any. I was offering the fans. Have roadside assistance come help us out here but yeah if you were on my live stream earlier thank you so much of course you've probably seen that before seeing this video because I had to edit this video we're gonna probably stop at the next exit the guy from roadside assistance said that he wouldn't chance it it's like playing Russian roulette like I was like you know hey you know you think this would be okay driving for about five hours the tires actually dry rot and yeah the tire placed it see my spare tire the last time they were absolutely right about that tire but hey if you could just get me up the road where I can get another tire, we'll be okay. 
and I think we'll make it home safely. So, yeah. But yeah, I just wanted to give a shout out to everybody that was here. I had a ton of like cool donations from you guys and some more birthday wishes. So thank you so much. I just wanted to thank you. If I missed your name during that live stream, my apologies. But if you've never been to one of my live streams and you know you wanted to donate or you do donate, it's really cool because. Uh, unlike other live streams on YouTube, it permanently puts like a shout out on on the video itself, like a kind of like a watermark. It says like you know so and so donated. So even though I may have missed it, it's there forever on that live stream. And I usually keep my live streams up unless you know there's a reason for me to delete them. But yeah, I just wanted to thank everybody that was there and was showing love. We gotta walk. You know. Okay, make sure you don't flip over. Yeah. yeah. James, I wouldn't be there. In case it flips over, that would suck if this flips over. I would, I would legit cry for like a year. Thank God for roadside assistance. So, got the spare on there. It's not pretty, but it'll get me to the next exit at least. No tire stores close by. What about Walmart? Walmarts have like tire places inside. Yeah. Some, well, some Walmarts don't though. I don't know. This might not be good. We're kind of in the middle of nowhere. Am I following? I wonder how far we are from that one place that we were at the last time. Remember? Uh, we're good, bro. Eight miles down the road. It goes to show you that when you're in those situations where you're like, oh my gosh, like what's going to happen? Like, am I going to be okay? You're going to be okay, all right? Just make the right decisions. I, I think this was the best decision. It cost me $50 for him to come out and help and it worked out good it would have been too risky trying to like i mean people were saying in the live stream you should put blocks under there and try to I, there was really nothing to put under there there's nothing i guess i could have got some logs or something that would work because anyway it would really flip we are really far from like civilization this is the closest tire shop right here actually the closest one was just nothing but a like tires for like big rig trucks so we had to find another place and they close in five minutes luckily they have two tires two tires that i need i only need one tire but they have two of the you know the type of tire that i need Mario, so. you want to just trade this thing in we'll give you a new rv oh they do got some other rvs over there yeah. nah i'm good with mine i'm just kidding i like the ss raven gotta put some money in the ss raven there's like nothing to eat around here too. I'm so hungry. Hey, maybe I can turn the generator on and make, make us some soup right quick. Uh, well, honestly, it depends when they're going to start working on it. They're going to have to jack it up. You can't really be in the car. Well, it doesn't look like they're going to get to it anytime well, they soon. Close in, they close right now at 5.30, so I'm sure they don't want to stay too late. Mm. He's probably grabbing the tire now. Should I pull in? Uh, Should I pull in? Oh, okay. All right. I'm going to pull it right now. I know Georgia's road was kind of messed up on 75. We hit a lot of potholes. Tennessee, dude? Yeah. Going to probably make it home at midnight tonight. I was hoping we'd get there by like 8 o'clock or 9 p.m., but hey, things happen. I'm thankful that these guys were open for, I don't know, we got here five minutes before they closed. You can see they're closing their garages. Yeah, and made it. Yeah. He said we just made it too. World's craziest trucker pickle. I want to give him a massive shout out because he donated on my live stream. It was like a hundred dollars or something, man. It's very, very generous of him. He on my live stream too. He's really a good fan. He was like, hey, this is for the tire. And man, thank you so much. You know where he came from? What? He was actually a fan of Jar on Exploration Unknown. Was he really? Yeah, and he got, dropped like 300 bucks on his stream. And then he went to my cousin and you. Oh, and wow. Me super nice, nice dude man yeah. so thank you from the bottom of my heart and hey i am seeing something that is pretty awesome right now chickens oh gosh there's chickens and they're like free roaming man look at that these guys are living life i'm hungry let's get them you want to go eat them i wouldn't mean i can uh, put them back here pluck them no we just met up with jay there he goes right over there making some room for for James <laughs> we are all alone just me and you parked in front of a McDonald's you would think I 
get some food because I'm really hungry. But you know what? Why get some McDonald's when you could have some minestrone? <gasps> I'm gonna finish this up, get on the road. Plus, I'm trying to eat healthy. There's really nothing at McDonald's I could eat other than like a salad or something. But I mean, I could have some french fries. French fries are vegetarian. This has gotta be the worst day of my life. My van just broke down. I, I don't know what happened. I just lost power. Unbelievable. Rest in peace, SS Raven. Have no idea what happened. I was just driving and just lost power, just like out of nowhere. And you can see my van will not start it must be like a fuel problem or something still stuck on the road been here for about an hour calling tow companies it's already 10 o'clock p.m. A couple tow companies that I called one place wanted to charge me a thousand dollars to get home there's nobody that's, I mean, it's the weekend, so I mean, I can, yeah, I can probably spend the weekend here in Nowheresville. Gosh. I just talked to a record service right now, and they were slightly cheaper at $876, and he said that he might not even be able to take me tonight, that we would have to go somewhere and leave this, and then he'll take me in the morning, and, just want to show you how far I am from home. I'm about. So that's where I'm at right there. All right. Got a wrecker here. I am so excited. I've been hanging out in the car for about, I don't know. I mean, it hasn't been too, too long. Could have been worse. It was about two hours of me waiting. And I almost thought I was going to have to get an Uber and leave my van on the side of the road. But I found this company and they're gonna hook it up. We're going up. Woo! It's not the, the van, it's uh, I mean, it's not on the truck yet. Oh, it's not on the truck yet? No, see, I'm, that, that front little plastic bumper piece. Oh, it's kind of giving you a hard time? Well, it's gonna start cracking here in a minute. So I gotta get the back tire. Oh, I'm sure why. But my carbon monoxide detector is going off back there. Oh, I got the door open. about weight limit right now my truck weighs about 8,500 pounds this weighs 16,000 pounds legally we're only allowed 26,000 pounds for the license that he has if we're over that I might have to be spending the night a couple of hours away from home tonight which I'm crossing my fingers I'm gonna find out we're on a scale right now I was doing a Rise live stream. If you don't have the Rise app, check it out. It's really cool. We get to kind of face chat with each other. I'll leave, I'll try to leave a link here in the description. In case I don't, R-I-Z-E, that's the name of the app. Go download it. Sometimes I go live. I go live pretty often on it. And we can, you know, chat face to face. If I don't pick you up, you know, please don't be upset. But I only get about maybe 100, 200 people there. So there is a higher chance of being picked there than if it was a YouTube live stream. How are we doing? Oh, <laughs> they wait inside. They just tell you there. That's oh, they tell you inside? Yeah, I gotta go inside now. There's the SS Raven right there. Cameron had a hard time getting that thing up there. I mean, he was, I don't know, I think you were working on it for like an hour or so. Pretty much. Yeah. That little bitty two or three inches of bumper there makes all the damn difference in the world. I was almost gonna tell him just to, I don't know, break it anyways, but I don't want to. I got enough money to spend on this bad boy or bad girl, SS Raven. Bad, bad news. So we were overweight, not gonna be able to go home tonight. Had an appointment to go somewhere tomorrow and can't do that. Kind of upset about that, but you know, like Cameron was saying, it could be so much worse. 
I mean, I could still be on the side of the road right now, but Cameron brought me to a hotel. We're going to try to take the van to a mechanic tomorrow. And that's where we're at. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video. It's probably really long. I love you. Before you leave, give me a kiss.